Don't feed Fizz. Fizz is a highly maneuverable champion with abilities that deal primarily magic damage. Fizz's passive, Nimble Fighter, allows him to pass through all units without collision. In other words, where other champions may need to path around nearby minions, monsters, or champions, Fizz can simply walk through them. Additionally, Nimble Fighter reduces incoming damage from auto attacks by a small, flat amount. Fizz's Urchin Strike is a targeted ability that causes Fizz to dash a set distance. This can only be activated once he is within a range where the dash will definitely hit his target. However, if he is any closer than max range, he will travel past the target until he reaches the full distance of the ability. Urchin Strike deals his attack damage to the target, in addition to bonus magic damage. It also applies on-hit effects. Urchin Strike is an excellent gap closer against targets who are at a distance. It can also be an excellent escape mechanism against targets who are in melee range, especially if Fizz can position himself to travel in a beneficial direction. In regards to passing over walls, Urchin Strike has a specific tweak. The ability will pass over walls if he has not reached his target yet. However, if he has already reached his target and still has more distance on the dash, the dash will no longer go over walls. In tight areas, this can be used to his advantage by allowing him additional bursts without putting him out of range of his target. Fizz's Sea Stone Trident passively causes his normal melee attacks to bleed for additional magic damage over 3 seconds. The magic damage dealt is equal to base damage plus a percentage of the target's missing health. In other words, the damage dealt is significantly more powerful against targets who are at low health. If he strikes a target that currently has the bleed effect applied, he will refresh the duration. Every tick of damage dealt is calculated on its own. In other words, if a target has high health when the bleed effect starts, but rapidly loses health, the bleed will deal more damage with later ticks. The passive component of Seastone Trident is excellent for harassing or sustained combat, as well as netting kills on fleeing opponents. Since Urchin Strike applies on-hit effects, Fizz can land this bleed on a low health opponent by using Urchin Strike, helping to ensure a kill. When Seastone Trident is activated, Fizz's normal melee attacks deal additional bonus magic damage on hit, and temporarily debuff the target with Grievous Wounds, reducing healing on them by 50%. The active component is excellent for last hitting minions during the laning phase. It's also excellent for providing burst on enemy champions. In some cases, he may wish to save the active component for opponents who reach low health, and may attempt to heal themselves to prevent death. Both the passive and active effects of Seastone Trident, combined with the passive damage reduction Fizz receives from Nimble Fighter, give Fizz excellent jungling speed. Fizz's playful trickster ability combo vaults Fizz into the air at a nearby location, temporarily making him untargetable. While in the air, there is a half-second window where Fizz can activate the ability again to launch himself a little further in any direction, dealing damage to nearby enemies when he lands. If Fizz does not activate the ability again, he will drop to the ground beneath him, damaging enemies but also slowing them. When Fizz vaults himself into the air, anything currently targeting him is cancelled. This includes spells that are in flight towards him, as well as normal attacks. If timed well, Fizz is extremely good at avoiding harassment spells such as stuns that must travel towards him. While in the air, skill shots passing through him will also not land on him. If Fizz is chasing an opponent, avoiding critical crowd controls can secure a kill for him. Vaulting will also stop incoming tower attacks. This can allow Fizz to effectively tower dive or harass players under a tower. Because of the bleed from Seastone Trident, Fizz may need to briefly pause before activating Playful Trickster under a tower, so a tick of the bleed will not cause the tower to immediately retarget him. Playful Trickster is excellent at covering distance. However, because maximum distance has two smaller hops, it is limited to jumping over small walls that the individual hops can handle. Combined with the Urchin Strike Dash, this ability gives Fizz enormous mobility. The ability can be used to help Fizz get in range of a distant or fleeing opponent to use Urchin Strike, and can also be used to immediately dash away from a target he hits with Urchin Strike. While the damage of Playful Trickster increases with each rank, the relative power of the ability remains the same at all ranks. Higher ranks dramatically reduce the cooldown of the ability, though, and it can be used several times in teamfights at later ranks. Playful Trickster can be a good farming ability at later ranks if Fizz has built ability power. The AoE will kill caster minions and deal significant damage to other minions. 
Fizz's Chum the Waters is a long-range skill shot that fires at a champion or location. After one and a half seconds, a shark comes out of the earth, dealing magic damage to all nearby enemies, knocking up an enemy if the fish is attached to them, knocking back other nearby enemies, and slowing all affected enemies by a significant amount. Getting into more detail on the mechanics, Fizz fires the fish towards a target location. If the fish comes close to any enemy champion in its path, it attaches to them. Otherwise, it will reach its location and leave a circle on the ground. Even if the fish has stopped on a location, it will still attach to any player who runs over it before the shark comes. The player the fish is attached to is slowed. Vision is granted to the area around the fish, allowing it to see in bushes or other hidden areas. A fish in a bush is not visible to anyone outside the bush, even when the aura extends significantly outside the bush. Additionally, there can be a delay before a fish fired from a bush is visible to enemy champions who don't have vision inside the bush. Chum the Waters is a high damage ability that can significantly alter skirmishes and teamfights. Though it can be used immediately at the start of a fight, it is often best saved for key moments where it can best disrupt a team. The slow is strong and the relatively quick cast on the ability is great at disrupting players that are either attempting to flee or chasing your own teammates. Chum the Waters is very effective in tight areas, especially in the jungle as it's much harder to avoid and can potentially affect more players. It is also fantastic when used after disabling abilities and ultimates from other champions. Fizz can be built and played effectively in a number of different ways. While his abilities suggest building him as an AP caster, he can also be effective as an AD champion. This is in part due to his effective gap closers and his Seastone Trident damage buff. His Urchin Strike also benefits directly from his attack damage as it will deal the physical damage as well as any on-hit effects. Watch what he's building to get an idea how to counter him. Fizz is very effective in a solo lane, especially against a champion who has abilities with travel time that he can avoid with Playful Trickster. He works in a duo lane as well. That said, he has excellent jungling capabilities on top of all this. If he jungles, he may prefer to wait until at least level 3 or 4 before ganking, due to the benefit of having all of his active abilities ready. Countering Fizz comes down to harassment and crowd control. In the early game, Fizz will have extreme difficulty farming if he is constantly harassed from a range. While Playful Trickster can help him, it has a long cooldown and high mana cost in the early game. Souls are not too effective against Fizz, as his abilities still allow him to get a strong distance between himself and his opponents. However, hard crowd controls are very effective and he has no recourse against them unless he is built tanky. Don't ignore his burst potential. If he and his teammates have taken off a significant chunk of your health, he may be able to jump in and quickly finish you off, either immediately or over time with his Sea Stone Trident Bleed. Chasing Fizz is not always a good idea, especially if you can't account for his teammates. Only ever chase him if you are absolutely sure you can net the kill on him, or you know there won't be any serious risk in attempting to. Keep in mind that Fizz can use his cooldowns as they come up to quickly deal burst damage and apply his bleed while still avoiding a lot of incoming damage, so long chases can be to his advantage. Thanks for watching this Don't Feed. While I don't cover gear, builds, runes, and masteries in this video, I often try to provide them in the movie description, along with any series updates. Simply click the movie information box to learn more. If you want to be alerted to every video I release, subscribe to my channel. Additionally, if you love this series, tell your friends about it and help promote it.